sure there's Jessica Taylor. Where? for me. Look at me when I talk. Ow! Ow! Let go! Does that hurt? Let go! Ow! Let go! You think you're so posh? Like some kind of princess? I don't! What are you looking at? Don't you ever look at me, Taylor. I'm sorry! Are you okay, Jess? Of course she's okay. Why wouldn't she be? We're just chatting, ain't we? Yeah. Now move! Where do you think you're going? I'm going to be late. No, you go when I say. You're pathetic. Now give me your money. I only have my lunch money. <laughs> well, give it to me then. Fine. Just please, don't take it. Please, just... <laughs> Shut up. Please, just give it back. Don't look in there. You lying bitch. Do you think I'm stupid or something? No, that's my mum's. It's for Miss Graven. I have to buy a school book with it. Please don't take it. She'll kill me. Ooh, fancy yourself, do you? Ow. 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 You're lucky we're in the street. Otherwise, I'd give you a right slap in. You better not tell anyone, Taylor, or I'll come and find you. I'll cut all your hair off and burn it. I hate you! You fat cow! You better not come back, Taylor, or I'll kill you! Hey, are you okay? Shouldn't you be in school? I hate school. I hate everything. Just leave me alone. There was a time when I hated school too. Well, not the school or the teachers. Just one particular kid. He used to make my life a misery. Ali, his name was. Fat Ali, we used to call him. Well, not to his face. We were too scared. When I look back, the things he used to do to me don't seem so bad now. But at the time, every single kick, punch, threat, put down, was like a slow torture. Why did he bully you? I don't know, really. Maybe somebody at home was bad to him, or he felt embarrassed about himself. Could be any of those reasons. Only Ali knows the answer to that. Does that hurt? Then one day it all came to a head. My mum had bought me a new shirt. I wore it to school a couple of days later. I remember we had an English lesson that day with Mr. Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard, we used to call him. Fat Ali was sat behind me. He always sat behind me so he could poke me with his ruler and flick things at me. Old Mother Hubbard had left the room, so all the kids started mucking about. Ali shouted to me. As I turned around, he squirted black ink all over my new shirt. It was ruined. I remember thinking my mum's going to kill me when she sees it, so I tried to wash it out. I tried scrubbing it. When my mum came home, 
I didn't want to tell her what had happened. I tried to keep it a secret. But it all just came flooding out. I told her everything about Ali. And she said, right, tomorrow you're staying off school and I'm going to speak to the headmaster. I was worried about what Ali might do, but I felt relieved that my mum knew and that I'd talked to her about it. What happened? A couple of days later, I went back to school. I was really nervous. I saw Ali. He looked at me and just turned away. I sat in front of him in class, as I always did, and again, he just left me alone. From that day onwards, he never bothered me anymore. I felt this great sense of freedom, like a caged bird who'd just been set free. I don't know what my mum said that day, but it worked, and I'll always love her for that. I want to fly away from everything. Well, give it to me then. A few weeks had passed, and it was the Christmas holidays. Lots of snow and ice that year. One afternoon I was walking home, and I saw Ali and a couple of his mates hanging outside his dad's kebab shop. I remember thinking, please don't see me. But he did. I put my head down and kept walking, fast, which was difficult because of the ice. I heard him shout out at me. I had to cross the road, the side he was on. He kept shouting and I kept walking. I looked behind me and I saw him start to run after me. As he did, he slipped and fell on the ice. I stopped and watched him. His mates laughed as he fell. He tried to get up, but he kept on slipping, and this time he fell hard and really hurt himself. He was just laying there still, asking his friends for help, but they just laughed at him. So, it's like the ice was bullying him, making him feel bad in front of his friends. He couldn't get up. Poor Ali. As I watched him suffering, Instead of feeling glad, I felt sorry for him, lying there in that cold ice, in pain, crying. Just then, his dad came out the kebab shop. He shouted at the boys, and they ran off. Ali's dad picked up his son and carried him back into the shop. I think in that moment, he learned about humiliation and suffering. And I learnt about compassion. What's compassion? It's that feeling you had when you said, poor Rally. Even though a person has been really bad to you and made your life a misery and you hate them, even after all that, you don't want anyone to go through what you went through. I like to think Ali grew up to be a nice man, making kebabs for all his friends. Yes, I think he did. I think I better go home now. Thanks, mister. Sunday morning, bright and clear, lovely flowers decorate a marble square. People cry from walk away, think about the fateful day. Now they wish they'd given Jack more affection and respect. The little children dressed in black don't know what's happened to old Jack. 